And we were going to do it in the freezing cold. We were, yeah. And then we got a 36 quid hotel. Nice hotel, probably the best in Scottish. For 36 quid, so belong to like this hotel club. Mm. And then, lo and behold, there's an indoor swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. Everything's happened from the phone call among you to here. It's amazing. That was a golf. I think I think it is. It's totally amazing. Well, I was willing to do it in that cold water. Yeah, I was actually. Because <laughs> I wanted to. Oh, actually, it's like my mission. I had to do it. I mean, I was willing. I thought this guy's willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. But then the Lord, the Lord must have seen that we're getting on in years. <laughs> <laughs> seen my injuries and everything, and, I thought, <laughs> and gave us a, an indoor swimming pool. It is amazing. It's amazing. amazing. But it's like. So, yeah. so I mean, how, how, how did you come to this? Because well, you're from Croydon, right? I'm from Croydon, yeah, and I've, I won't go for my life story because it, it's a long story. Yeah, no, but you, you come from Croydon and you ended up... I ended up with my, with my ex-wife to here, yeah, she was my wife at the time. You know, I settled here, uh, we divorced, we, we're, still, we're still friends, you know, we're still good friends. And, uh, and then uh, I just tried to change my life, living in this sort of area. I mean, to me, we're Croydon um, at the time was hard, mate, for me. Yeah. You know, I, I was an ex um, football hooligan. Yeah. But yeah, not for, for Crystal not, Palace? Yeah. For Crystal Palace? Yeah. I was on telly, I was on BBC News and all the main yeah. news. And uh, I got arrested for organising fights, so I was one of the top guys. Yeah. I never heard that. Believe it or not, there wasn't no contact with me. It was more of a verbal sort of, I'm that old man, you know. So I got raided by the police and they broke my door down and all the usual stuff. Give me a blanket, over my head, because all the cameras are there. And I thought, I have to change my life, you know. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't violent. We had a lot of scuffle and that, business, and never used no weapons, never violent like that. But I thought I had to change my life. I had to get away from the poor. You know, I met my ex-wife, we moved here, and I loved it. And then uh, things just normal, you know, yeah. just normal life. I was a drinker, not a massive weekend drinker, you know. But I cut that out about four years ago. I literally just stopped drinking. I don't know why. I used to enjoy just a weekend. Just, yeah, yeah. I just couldn't drink anymore. My son bought me a pint. He uh, was having a roast dinner in his pub, and I said, No, I can't drink it. I don't know why. And things from there just started um, slowly. Like, so I was changing the way I felt about things. Yeah. And it's then, all the time now, it's um, last year, about five months ago, like I said. With, but then I started looking for the truth. This is going back about 15 years ago. I didn't agree with the way the world run, the way the, it took me 15 years to find this, looking for the truth, that's what I was looking for. So you're looking for the truth? Looking for the truth. And where, then, where did you find it? In the Bible. In the Bible? Yeah. I started, started reading, uh, watching pastor, uh, Bible teachers on YouTube, uh, I'm praying to God saying, hey, my lad's do this, this way, I'm sure he's happy with it. Because Mark said my reading's not very good. I, I find hard to take really things in. But learn, doing it this way, I was learning. I probably know ten times more now than if I read the Bible. But I'm still reading it, but slowly. So yeah, my life changed, yeah, and I found the truth. The only truth I could find in this world. Because, like I said, like, everything else corrupts. And it, it, why? And then it all turned around that finding the Bible and everything says in there and everything they say this guy is saying. Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah, and then I started learning a bit of the Torah, 